Welcome to, Oracle Fusion Cloud SCM, Manufacturing Integration. Extensibility in SaaS, using Application Composer and Page Composer. Page Composer and Application Composer, are tools within the SaaS layer, that provide extensibility options, which are upgrade proof. You can use the Page Composer to, change look and feel of fields, and embed new content in pages. You can also add new tabs, sections, deep links etc. You can use the application composer to capture additional data, using custom objects, with one-to-many data mapping, which is not possible, using descriptive flex fields. Perform create, read, update, and delete operations, using REST service, and a custom application, in Springboard. Publish custom object business events, and create report. Let us consider the use case of Vision Corporation. Vision Corporation, is in nursery business. They grow plants, in multiple locations, in nursery. They need to capture, information of, the quantity of plants, and their locations, in work order, as child data. Because the functionality is not available as a standard feature, it can be implemented, using Oracle SAS extensions, that is, Application Composer and Page Composer. Application Composer, enables creation of, work order location, custom entity, and its REST service. Page Composer, enables creation of, custom form, in standard work order user interface, to capture, work order location, and quantity details, and, create, work order location record. Oracle SAS extensibility, enables user, to extend functionality of standard applications, to capture additional information, using custom object. Application composer and page composer extensions are used, for custom object creation, and integration. In this video, let us go through, Application Composer Setup, to create Work Order Location Custom Object, and Page Composer Setup, to create Custom Form, to take user input for location and quantity, capture work order details in context, and invoke Custom REST Service, to create a record. The flow diagram being presented here, lists, all the Application Composer, and page composer setups. The flow begins with application composer setups. The integration setup is done in sandbox. Therefore, create a sandbox with application composer tool. Next create the custom object in ERP and SCM cloud application. Then, create fields for the custom object. Create landing and creation pages to search and create custom objects. Define security policies for custom object. Configure policies to provide create, read, update, and delete grants to appropriate roles. Set up web service connection for get, post, patch, and delete operations. This creates REST service connection for custom object. Get, custom object, database table name, in user interface, to manage database resources. Assign custom object administration role, to user for access to custom object. Finally, publish sandbox. User can now access custom object via user interface and REST service. The integration setup, for custom object entity, using application composer is complete. Listed next are the page composer setups. Create sandbox for page composer setup. Navigate to Edit Work Order User Interface, in Work Execution Work Area, in Manufacturing. Create New Tab by enabling and using Page Composer. Create HTML Form for Custom Object. The form, accepts input details for Custom Object and, creates record using Custom Object REST Service. Access Custom Object via Custom HTML Form, in User Interface. Publish the sandbox. 
This completes the Page Composer integration setup. To recap, listed are the setups, discussed in the flow diagram earlier. Next, the video, is going to walk through, on how to perform, each of the given setups. Create Sandbox, for Application Composer Setup. Navigate to, Settings and Actions menu, on right hand corner, of Dashboard. Select and click, Edit Pages, under Administration section. Activate Sandbox, to access, Application Composer. Click Create Sandbox, to create new sandbox. Enter the name, of the sandbox. Select Application Composer, and Data Security, as tools to be included in sandbox. Click Create and Enter, to activate the sandbox. The sandbox is activated and entered. Create custom object in ERP and SCM cloud application. Click hamburger icon on left corner of dashboard. Expand the configuration section. Click application composer. In application composer, Select ERP and SCM Cloud as application. Click plus icon to create a custom object. Create custom object work order location. Create fields for custom object. Click fields to create custom fields. Create custom field work order location name. Select field type as text. Enter display name and display width. Update field as searchable. Save the changes. Create custom field work order number. Select type as text. Enter display name and display width. Update field as searchable. Save and close. Create custom field work order ID. Select type as number. Provide value for display name, display width, and maximum length attributes. Save and close. Create custom field work order location quantity. Select type as number. Provide value to display name, display width, and maximum width. Save and close. Custom fields are created successfully. Given our standard fields created by default. Create pages for custom object. Navigate to pages. Create default pages for custom object. Configure layout for landing page. Edit table to add custom fields. Select the custom fields to add to page. Save and close. Click Done. 
Configure Create Page Layout for Custom Object. Click Edit icon, to add fields to, Creation Page. Select the fields, to be added to, Custom Object Create Page, for input. Save and close. Click Done. Based on requirement, layouts for, details page and, reusable region, can also be set up. The setup, is similar to that of, landing and creation, page layouts. Define security policies for custom object. Click security link to define security policies. By default, all create, read, update, delete, and change history privileges, are assigned to, custom object administration role. If not, ensure, all privileges are assigned to, custom object administration role. Set up, web service connection, for get, post, patch, and delete operations. The operations, get and post, will be invoked from, work order location, custom HTML form, that will be created, later in the demonstration, using page composer, in, edit work order, user interface. Web service connection setup, is needed to perform, create, read, update and, delete operations, on custom object. Click plus icon to create web service connection. Select, rest, as connection type. Provide rest service name and URL. Select, call with basic authentication, for rest service authorization. Create credential key and provide username and password. Configure, get method, for the web service resource. Select, payload format as, JSON. Provide code sample, for response payload, for get operation. The code sample, presents how a response attribute values, will be returned, in JSON format. Given is, an example of code sample, including, few response attribute values, in JSON format, for reference. The response attributes, listed here are, custom fields created, for work order location, such as, work order location name and quantity, and work order ID and number. The response attributes listed, also include few standard fields, created by default in the custom object, such as, record ID and name, and, who columns, such as, created by, creation date, and last updated by columns. Configure, post method, for web service resource. Provide, code sample, for request payload, for reference. The code sample presents, example of how a request attribute values are given, in JSON format. The sample payload listed here, includes few request attributes. The request payload, includes, custom fields created, for work order location, such as, work order location name and quantity, and work order ID and number. And, standard field, record name, created by default, in the custom object, to store the record name. Provide, sample code, for response payload. The code sample, presents how a response attribute values, will be returned, in JSON format. The response payload, provided here, is same as the response payload, provided for, 
the get operation. Configure, patch method, for the web service resource. Provide, code sample for request payload, for patch operation. The code sample presents, example of how request attribute values are given, in JSON format. The request attribute, listed here, is the custom field created, that is, work order location quantity. Provide code sample, for response payload, in JSON format. The code sample, presents how response attribute values, will be returned, in JSON format. The response payload, provided here, is same as the response payload, provided for, the get operation. Configure, delete operation, for web service resource. Request and response payloads, are not applicable, for delete operation. Save and close. Web service configuration is complete. Get, custom object, database table name. Click hamburger icon on left. Expand tools section. Click security console. Navigate to administration tab. Click manage database resources. Provide custom object name. Search. Search results provide underlying database table name for the custom object. Assign, custom objects administration role, to user, for access to, custom object. The role, needs to be assigned to user, to provide access to, custom object and its REST service. Without access to this role, the user, cannot access the custom object, and its REST service. Navigate to Users tab. Search the user, to be assigned, access to, the custom object, and its REST service. Click Edit. Click Add Role. Search for the custom object's administration role. Assign the role to user. Save and close. Finally publish the sandbox. Go to sandbox. Publish sandbox. Publish. The sandbox is published. Click done. Access custom object, via user interface. Navigate to home page, go to others section. The user interface, for custom object, will be available. Click create button. Provide all the given data, to create record of, work order location, custom object. Work order location record name, and record number, are standard fields, created by default, on custom object creation. They represent record name and number. Record number is, auto generated. Work order ID, is a custom field, created, to store the unique ID, of the work order, in context of which, the custom object creation, takes place. Work order location name, is a custom field, created, to store the name of the location, associated to the given work order, in context. Work order number, is a custom field, created to store, the work order number, in context of which, the custom object creation, 
takes place. Work order location quantity is a custom field created to store the quantity assigned to the given location associated to the work order in context. Save and close. Work order location custom object record is created successfully. Access custom object via REST service. Work order location, custom record, can also be created, invoking post request, through REST client. Provide request payload. The given payload, includes, standard and custom attributes, created on custom object. Record name, is a standard attribute, which stores the name of, the record of custom object. Work order location name, and quantity, provide details of, work order location. Finally, work order ID, and number, provide details of, the work order context in which, the custom object record creation, takes place. The post request, will create, work order location, custom object record, in context of the given work order, in request payload. The POST request, on the REST service, can also be invoked, from user interface backend, to create record of custom object. This will be covered, in later slides of the video. Submit the POST request. Work order location record, is created successfully. Get operation, can be performed to search records, such as, using query parameter, on field work order location name. Submit request. Record is fetched successfully. The application composer setup, for custom object entity, is complete. Next, the setups, for setting up page composer, will be demonstrated. Listed here, are the page composer setups. To begin, the first setup is, to create sandbox, for page composer setup. Next, navigate to edit work order, user interface, in work execution work area. Then, enable page composer mode, for edit work order, user interface. Create new tab, using page composer. The tab is for work order locations. Next, create HTML form, for custom object. The form accepts, input for work order location, and its quantity, in context of, the work order being edited. It then invokes, work order location, custom rest service, to create, work order location record, from user input, submitted, in user interface. Then, access custom object, via custom HTML form. User can provide, work order location, its quantity, and, submit the details, in the form. The form creates, work order location record, via REST service. Finally, publish sandbox, to complete page composer setup. Create sandbox, for page composer setup. To create, custom form in user interface, using page composer, create sandbox, with the page composer tool, and activate the sandbox. Create and activate sandbox. Provide sandbox name. Include page composer tool. Create and enter sandbox. Navigate to edit work order, user interface, in work execution work area. Navigate to, work execution work area, under supply chain execution. Navigate to work orders UI. 
Create work order. Provide item and quantity details. Save and edit work order. Click on edit pages, to enable page composer. Create new tab, using page composer. Under select tab, of page composer, select, the entire tab area, of edit work order, user interface. Select structure tab. Click Cogwheel to add new tab. Click Add Tab button. Enter tab name and apply changes. Work Order Location tab is created successfully. Create HTML form for custom object. Click on Add Content to create HTML page, which accepts, work order location and quantity input, and, creates work order location record, via custom REST service. Select Components. Select and add HTML markup component. JavaScript in HTML form, enables performing, create, read, update and delete operations, on custom object REST service. For instance, a sample JavaScript code, to get work order details, from work order service is provided. Also, provided, for reference, is a sample JavaScript code, to invoke post on, custom object REST service, to create a record for, work order location. The request payload, includes the fields, needed to create a record of, work order location. Next, provided, for reference, is the expression, to use in HTML, to get, work order number, in context, in user interface. An example code snippet, on how to get the value of, work order number, in context, in HTML elements, is also provided, for reference. Provide HTML, and JavaScript code, to get, the work order context details, and, inputs on, work order location and quantity, and then, post to, work order location, custom object, rest service. For reference, sample JavaScript code, is provided, for post operation, on custom object rest service, in earlier slides, with title, as, integrating HTML, with custom object rest service. Click apply button. The changes are applied. Submit. Access custom object, via custom HTML form. This step covers, demonstration of, capture of, work order location details, in edit work order UI, in context of, the given work order. The custom HTML form, accepts input from user, for work order location, and its quantity, and invokes in background, custom object rest service, to create, work order location record. Enter the work order location, and its corresponding, quantity, for given work order. The work order location is created, in context of given work order. The work order location record, created from user interface, in previous slide, can be fetched, using get request, on work order location, rest service. Submit, get request. The record is fetched. Publish sandbox as the setups are complete. Publish sandbox, to complete, page composer setup. To recap, this video, demonstrated the use of 
application composer, to capture, work order location, as additional information, with, one to many, data mapping, which, cannot be achieved, through standard functionality, via descriptive flex fields. It enables, creation of, work order location, custom entity object, for additional information. And, configuration of, REST service, to perform, create, read, update, and delete operations, on work order location, custom entity records. The video, also demonstrated the use of, page composer, to customize and extend, standard application user interface. It enables, creation of custom form, to capture details of, work order location, custom entity, in user interface, and create record, by using, the work order location rest service. This brings us to end of the demonstration, thanks for watching this video. Listed are, the links on, application configuration and extension overview, use of application composer, and use of page composer, for reference.